When everybody was talking about going to heaven, Gautama the Buddha said, You say everything is fine in heaven, so what will I do there? Let me go to hell and do something to help others, because anyway I cannot suffer. The word sad guru, as I often point out, means an uneducated guru. Once it happened, four men were walking in the forest, the first was an Anna yogi, the second was a Bhakti yogi, the third was a Karma yogi, and the fourth was a Kriya yogi. We act in order to express our fulfillment, not to acquire it. It takes a little extra intelligence for a person to look beyond what's available in his culture. If you keep the false conclusions at bay, truth will dawn. You don't meditate, nothing will happen, but if you sit for meditation, so many things will start happening everywhere. If he is a genuine seeker, anything that happens to him, even the most disastrous thing, is also a plus, because it only annihilates him a little more. You sit for just a few hours a day with your spine erect, you will see that it will have an unmistakable effect on your life. Success, prosperity, well-being happens because you have made yourself capable of creating those things. The sun is aggressive and outgoing, the moon receives and reflects. The choice is always before you, to respond consciously to the present, or to react compulsively to it. There is a vast difference between the two, and it can make the world of a difference. Sunlight comes into your house not because you want it, it happens because you open the windows. So the source of your misery is not your past actions, the source of your misery is how you are processing the imprint of the past now. They are labeling their compulsions, their limitations, as their choices, if you can joyfully do whatever is needed in a given situation, this is freedom, but limiting yourself to doing only what you like is a horribly compulsive way to live. The body is a pretty complete and self-contained instrument, if you are fascinated by machines, there isn't a better one. As far as the laws of existence are concerned, there is no good and bad, no crime and punishment, it is just that for every action, there is a consequence. So the very way in which you experience life, whether you see it as sweet or sour, beautiful or ugly, pleasant or unpleasant, your responsibility, as your ability to respond is what determines the nature of your experience. Life is not a playground of competition if it was, we would be busy reaching the finish line. So, socially, if we create a situation that does not set up discrimination or an atmosphere that is not overly dripping with sentimental pity, there would be no problem. When I look back now, I realize that I never thought about what I wanted to become in life. I only thought about how I wanted to live my life, and I knew that the how could only be determined within me and by me. Elemental memory and atomic memory together constitute. It is your identity that manages and determines your intellect, 